I think some uh, might contend that if Joseph Smith was a prophet and received revelation, that that revelation would be pretty much the same every time he says that kind of an experience or has that revelatory experience. And yet, I don't think that's the way God works. Uh, men are mortals, prophets are mortals, and uh, he uses, he'll inspire them. He'll give them the, the inspiration necessary for them to convey an experience or a thought or a teaching or a doctrine. But he'll allow the uh, reci recipient, the prophet, to couch those experiences and that revelatory material in his own words, in his own thinking, in his own understanding, and his own language. And I think that reflects uh, revelation, uh, the way revelation works. Uh, Joseph Smith at one time said, there are no errors in the revelations which I have given. And I think that would include uh, the accounts of his first vision. Again, doesn't mean they wouldn't differ because of course the Spirit will enlighten him and empower him and inspire him with different elements as, he, as, as is necessary. And so it's pretty obvious that the uh, accounts should not be the same. Everyone, most, most any Christian would consider uh, Paul uh, an inspired apostle. And uh, the biblical account of his uh, theophany has some discrepancies or some differences. That doesn't mean it's not necessarily true or untrue, but it means that uh, the accounts may differ simply because of the uh, recording of the event. Uh, for example, when Paul had his theophany, uh, one account I believe says that uh, the, his companions uh, saw a light but didn't hear the voice, and the other one says uh, that they uh, didn't see the light but heard the voice. Well, that doesn't mean the account is not true. It just means that there were uh, perhaps some differences in its recording. God does not always uh, uh, take over for us. He doesn't always dictate uh, everything the same each time in terms of uh, revelation through his Holy Spirit. I think Joseph Smith clearly understood that, that uh, uh, God will not necessarily do what Joseph can do for himself, and that's express his own experience. And so Joseph did what he could, how he could, the best he could uh, through the spirit and power of revelation, just like we, we have in our own lives. He inserts above the line, uh, in my 16th year, well, that would have made him... Uh, 15 years old, and that would have been the year 1821. So uh, he's, he's reflecting here, but he hasn't quite got it right. And I think it's important to note that he wasn't probably looking at a calendar uh, 